Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Beast Breaker. Last episode, I had people tell me it was the worst episode I've ever uploaded to my channel and they hope I die. Uh, you know what? I don't even really disagree. <laughs> I really don't disagree. Um, we, we have played about as horrible as any one human being can play at this point. I need four of this weird spool of pink thread moat okay i need two more uh, once we do that we create a spark that allows us to craft this um you explain the crafting system to me i'm a dumbass okay look would you look at this a striker tooth attack the grass wild brook calls for aid moats are dropped here i go in let's talk okay let's talk we can do a variety of things here the hell's this gain five ammo when you damage this tile that seems great okay um we also have this dude who like should be doing something um but we have not used him for anything at all uh and then we also have obviously our bow and arrow many of you kind of said you know what tyler uh maybe just accept that the bow and arrow ain't for you okay here here's my line of thinking okay one, if it upsets you for me to use the bow and arrow, then I want to do it anyway. Um, but two, scout this please, my friend. Beautiful. That's good knowledge. But then two, if it is upsetting you, oh, he's right here. Okay. Um, I will avoid him for right now. I know he is getting much stronger in his current situation. Uh, we are going to apply some explosive action no yeah yeah i'm gonna apply some explosive action and then we're gonna go right to here and and we're gonna get him okay but here's the way that i think about things all right i need to be honest with myself and say uh i'm an idiot and i don't really know how to use uh the bows extremely well does that mean that I'm going to stop using them? No, it means I'm going to freaking learn how to use them, right? Because if I'm not using them, then I, I'm not learning, right? And I always got to be learning. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And honestly, I'm, I'm pretty pleased where this sits right now. So keep in mind, you're going to be generating ammo. Ammo's big, right? Ammo fuels like everything else that you are doing over the course of this this run, right? Because if you look at your abilities, right? Arrow flight costs two ammo. Pummel shot costs three ammo. Snipe bolt costs one. These two are how you like actually deal damage to the enemy. This is not, okay? It's still useful. Because this allows you to get the the other pieces out of the way. But you have to balance using your ammo. So, and this obviously is even more helpful because it, it gives us ammo. So let's, I want to go like this. Not really what I want to do, but that's okay. Um, we also, I mean, here's the other thing that we need to uh, keep in mind of, right? We have to try to get rid of other shards, right? I'm always going after the core. We don't need to go after the core. Also, the this does not, it does not hit that. Yeah, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this to get ammo, okay? We, we get plus five ammo, which in my eyes is actually like a high value play. Uh, then I'm going to get the heck out of here, I think. And I'm going to go to like here. And then we're going to arrow flight our way into here such as like this i think that's high value uh and i'm gonna do the same thing again a and that way we're at least getting a little bit of damage dude i'm gonna do it again to be honest we're getting a little bit of damage dealt in here i'm gonna do it one more time i would love to get rid of it is a 20 percent chance that it destroys a core unfortunately we didn't get it but th this is now like super messed up man um and we can hopefully get something good going so let's 
hitting that stupid yellow tile is extremely important to our run. Like, we, we want to do that as much as possible. So three arrows in a cone, here's what you do, right? You just send all of them... Well, no, you send it like this, right? That way you destroy a core as not the moat we want, but it's the moat we have. Um, that's, that's fine, dude. So we are going to... Honestly, we just have to get out of here. We'll, we'll get that here momentarily. Um, send these in. You got the bonus ammo, which is actually, like, huge. Um, we're going to continue to do exactly... Keep in mind, there's going to be an explosive shot. So do that for the explosive shot. And then those are... It's going to bounce around. It's going to do its thing. That That's okay. That's okay. Now, I want to... You think this can hit the moat, man? <laughs> I honestly don't think it will. Um, I would much rather do something like this. I don't really like that either. Um, there, there's not a lot of great plays here. I think you do this to hit the moat. Oh, I have to run myself through it. How very interesting. Okay, that's not what I thought. Uh, my apologies. My apologies. You can't yell at me for that one. The instructions were unclear. I uh, got my arrow stuck in a ceiling fan. Um... Okay, we're happy. Keep in mind he is rampaging momentarily. I am going to moat into the middle of the freaking world. Uh, is dangerous, but that's life. I am going to hit this because I, I do actually think that's kind of important to do. Then I'm just going to send it into here, man. And I know that it's, you know, it's low percentage chance for this to, to work out in our favor. But we, we have to... He rampages in a couple turns. We, we gotta just dump, you know, some of our, our power into this. Now, this is probably where I want to end turn. I know I'm getting hit for, for five here. But I think I want to end turn here to have a little ammo for next turn. And that's life, man. That's life. Then you're gonna roll. You're, you're gonna go... Let's see. So we're rolling for 30. It's a bad roll, to be perfectly honest with you. I think I want to do something like like this. Should put me on the bottom. Put me in smack dab in the middle, fair enough. Honestly, probably my bed. Um, let's grab the extra ammo, because that's... It's, like, literally always important. The, the extra ammo is huge value. Then... This kills the shard. Okay. Good. Two good moats as well. Um, I'm going to reload... We're going to keep arrow flighting. Let, let's try to arrow flight over here as well. You know, just just get that bottom area. We're we're kind of we're kind of cranking around everywhere we go. A snipe bolt would probably be a good play to to get him out here sometime soon. So this is a good opportunity for us to chill. I think, um, dude. I, when do you use John Quill? Right. I I don't know what. When, when the correct time to use him is. I think it's soon. I think it's soon. Hit me with a movement so we can get this. Honestly, this isn't a terrible spot for us. I, I'm not upset about this. Um, this arrow pierces everything. This is going to just destroy... Pierces everything. While inside a scale, deal one damage. While inside a core, 50% chance to deal a damage. Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. That, that's fine, right? That's fine. Let's send this over to here. Okay, big, big explosions dealt. We take no damage. We gotta use this guy soon, man. Like, it's starting to be where it's important for us to use him. Let, let's get... Um... This is going to be a wild play. I need to do something like that. And then that gets us the ammo we need. And then you maybe just end turn. I know that that sounds psycho a little bit. I mean, maybe you do like an explosion over here and then just see where the other stray arrows go. Honestly, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. I will end turn now. Now, this turn is, is going to be big for us. He rampages in one turn, so we, we have to make some, you know, pretty hefty decisions here. It's going to start 
with a... We, we have to get into a better position. It's going to be so close, but okay. Beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful situation. How do we prevent things from happening? First of all, I'm going to utilize... How do I utilize him, man? I have no idea. <laughs> that one I don't know. Maybe he, he, each companion stops the beast from rampaging once per battle using their... Okay, so as soon as he rampages, which hopefully will never happen, he will do this ability. Okay, I got it. I got it. Do I want to do a piercing arrow? I think the answer is no. I think I want to do like this to get an explosion here get extra ammo then i want to do a pummel shot directly into the belly of the beast right here he is now rampage reset i am going to roll out of here or we could just do a big pummel shot on the interior of him right um because this is these, these do two damage a piece right so it's it's pretty high value pretty high value we crank okay let's roll again here um and we're actually just going to do close to the same thing as before um i'm going to send a pummel into there his core is now really messed up and dude i've collected a like decent amount of stuff here as well this is a horrible position i mean you, you don't love it but you also kind of love it dude because guess what um we're we're just cranking him i mean he he's theoretically dead on this turn and i feel like i have i played optimally uh i've played uh, like okay I, I, i'm not sure if it's 100 percent optimally but i i feel like we have not played we haven't played bad we've just played like okay and honestly okay is good enough for me um that was not what i wanted to do at all I, i'm gonna tell you that that was a that was probably a historically terrible play that I just did. Um, again, this this is a waste of my time. Because this 20% chance to deal a damage and stop. So we, we can keep on trying on it. But the, the more realistic thing to do is just say, screw it, man. Just, just end your turn, have some ammo, and then it, it's going to be really easy to get uh, a shot in there. You, you just got to... All you gotta do is is reload yourself over to here. You son of a gun. Um, that's fine. We're gonna do a. <laughs> I I hate this actually. Um, let let's rethink this. Th this one's gonna give you an aneurysm. I can tell already. I'm gonna move <laughs> to there. Okay, okay. One more time. One more time. We're gonna move. Okay, pummel beautiful okay good good fight good fight i think we did a lot of things right on this one um especially getting the the moats or sparks or whatever the hell they are um that was valuable here so good amount of experience we have leveled up i did get howls which is all that i really care about <laughs> and uh now we can craft something new this went good this one good craft this new sword and shield okay deal damage gain and charge yeah deal eight damage and stop okay until first bounce gain a block every step wow okay yeah that's kind of crazy um and then on bounce deal of damage if possible lose 10 block if block is spent deal three damage in a medium radius very very interesting uh weapon i would love to try it let's try it so noble in need, there may be somebody lost. Just go for it, right? Just go for it. It seems Paprika found a broken propeller out in Bramble Hollow. She's brought it back as scrap, but this alloy, metal like this, is manufactured, not mined. The newfangled battery is enchanted with so many sparks I can't make whisker or tail of them. This isn't from around here. Must have fallen off one of those noble caravans the last time they resupplied the villages in the hollow. I did hear a rumor that a fancy fellow was flitting about recently, bolstering defenses with tech donations. We could always look around the last settlement he was helping in case that caravan is still around. Maybe he needs a bit of defending himself. <laughs> Extreme exclamation point. 
Okay. So. I could... Dude, I, I just don't think Poppy's good. I'm just gonna tell you. I don't think Poppy's good. I want to try the, the sword and uh, shield that we just got. So let's snag that right here. Just to try out something new. Uh, and then let's go in. Let's go in. We, we cycle around. No sign of anyone yet. Okay. John Quill. Gonna need you to scout this area right here. Big plays. Big plays. We we found the, the source of the ticking. It's a time bomb. Okay. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. You're a beautiful, beautiful person. Take heart assistance. We shall swiftly return to the cloud once we reconfigure the your important bits. Mortifying. How are citizens to depend on the hovering estates of our finest caravan was so easily felled? I mean, really, this is absurd. I shall have words with the manufacturer the moment I get home. There's also, you're, you're gonna about to be killed. That is to say, if I get home. Exclamation point, exclamation point, third exclamation point. Okay. We've got you collected. I, I have no choice but to fight. So let's do it. Unfortunate I can't spend any of my uh, berries, but you know what? Sometimes in life you can't spend your berries, right? This is just part of, part of life at this point in time. So, I cannot lose block, uh, because I, guess what, don't, don't have any block to begin with. My extra action tile is very far away, so we, oh my god, dude, he's so fast. Okay. I, I can basically get you nice and, and dusted right there to start. I say who is that, what an impressive showing. Hello, is me Skipper? And I also don't take damage, he's a god. This is where we would like to fortifying charge, okay? And this is everywhere we don't bounce, we get block. So this is like this is like 20 block, man. And I, I like this play a lot. I, I think you, you get yourself up into there is 17 block total. See, this is an unfortunate one. But it is what it is. I am going to now remove this block. To do a bunch of damage over here. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yes, go forth with heroic peasant. Strike a resounding blow. This guy, I don't know if I like his vibe. <laughs> He's got some interesting, uh, interesting things he do be saying. Uh, okay. This is where you gotta pick up your, your moats, man. That one is disappearing. So there's our first one. We have... Are you telling me I didn't pick up the second one? That's crazy. Uh, we do want to pick it up, though. Uh, I'm all about... We're, we're in upgrade camp now. I understand the crafting now. So we, we can crank as much as possible. This is going to be a fortifying charge situation. And I'm just going to tell you... It's it's so simple, even a child could do it. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to thread the needle through this uh, little passageway. Are you ready for this incredible play? Uh, yoink, he's so good. All right, good talk. Yeah, not where we want to be, but that's okay. Um, give me an extra action. Dude, I really like this uh, this weapon set. I think this one's kind of cool. Uh, okay. This is a rampage reset. I might take a little damage, but I also got 20 block. And this guy attacks for 5. Um, I mean, he just got completely destroyed, to be honest. Dude, this weapon seems really strong. And I, I'm I'm with it. Strong weapon is fun. <laughs> if it's not the bow, it's fun. Uh, oop, oops, I didn't say it. You said it. Um, a lot of block. 35 block, man. God, it's so good. It's so freaking good. It's a gray weapon. Uh, now you will lose some block to cause an explosion right here. Spicy. Um, and he's dead. It's just a gray fight, man. Um, I'm I'm really going to struggle to not use this, <laughs> this loadout. Because it's stupid strong. It's stupid strong. Give me my XP. We did great on this fight. We got a full tangle as well. Um... It's just incredible. Um, you okay? Congratulations, heroic warrior. You've had the honor of rescuing one of the most vital caravans of our fleet, and now I have the great joy of introducing myself. I am the most honorable Lord Dandelion. Gladiolus du Fritelia the Fifth. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Heir to the Marquis of Summercrest and the Hovering Estates of the Cloud. Dot dot dot. Oh dude. I wish they missed the opportunity to put that big long thing in there and have it like roll off the screen. That would have been hilarious. But please do call me Dandy. I wish to keep the fanfare to a minimum while down here to focus on those whom it is my duty to aid. Now once I am finished redirecting this caravan, let us adjourn to a safer location to continue our introduction. Send me on my way, do doop doop do do doop do. What a lovely little farm. And look, hand-painted windowsills. Imagine. It must be rustic compared to your own home, your lordship. Skipper shouldn't have dragged you out here, really. Dot dot dot. No, no, it is positively charming, please. You needn't put yourself out on my account. And Skipper's actions have inspired me to think a critter who is capable of fighting the beast head on. Besides, the very reason I tour the land is my duty to aid the populace. I shall begin unpacking forthwith. More resources would help, but oh, moats preserve me. I'll make room for him somewhere. She is like adopting the entire galaxy. Okay, Lord Dandelion, Gladiolus, Du Fratali, Uriah the Fifth, heir to the Marquis of Summercrest, welcome. Good to see you, Dandy. We got Poppy, we got Dandy, we got John Quill, the whole gang's here. Nothing to craft, but Granny does want to have a chat. Moats preserve me. Paprika, why are you in my forge with a frying pan? For the last time, the anvil is not a grill. Don't worry, Granny. Oh, okay, her name's Paprika, but she goes by Poppy. I like it. Okay. I'm not going to repeat the pancake party, but you've been making skip tons of rad weapons, so I thought, why only focus on battle? Just picture me voyaging across the land with the help of the snazzy spatula, the glimmering griddle, or the most epic kitchen tool of all, the fantastical flying frying pan. This frying pan works well. It's old. My sister forged it herself back before the beast came. Uh, yeah, like I said, super old. It just... Just do granny like that, Poppy. Sparks are precious and travel is dangerous. Be reasonable, Paprika. I know, I know. Quiet and reasonable. Just like you and Skipper. She seems so upset with us <laughs> when saying that. Jesus, criminy. Okay, plan me an expedition. Oh, Thunderheads, I've just received a missive that my, one of my arrow carts of my caravan never made it back to the cloud. Fortunately, it was fully automated and no one was on board. But it contained the urn that I was transporting for my family. An urn? Indeed, an enchanted augmenty something or another. The device that was powering my philanthropic blah, 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 blah. When you next venture forth to the hollow, would you keep watch for any clues to its location? I, I very well might. Keep an eye out for clues. Okay. Some quests can only be unlocked by following a trail of clues. They will appear during tracking while you are answering calls for aid. How very interesting. Okay, um, dude, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. We'll save the weapon for next time. Um, the Shearing Sword, this is a side quest. This settlement holds a legendary sword of Nettle Whiskersmith. Can Skipper's sword skills convince them to part with it? Uh, yes. I'm very good at the game. Skipper sure has benefited from your workout at the forge. It's good to be out there with the hammer and anvil again, still I'm just following my sister's designs. She never did have patience enough to work with sparks like I do, but give her any material you can name, and she could make marvels. Iron Man, Captain America, she could make them all. Oh, I'm aware, ma'am. I've been lucky enough to see a few of her weapons on display. What? What do you mean? Some settlements collected them, after, you know... The beast ripped her in half. Folks love seeing something made by the legendary Whiskersmiths. I didn't know. Ah, uh, hey, maybe Skipper could go ask for your weapons back. They might need to prove themselves first, but no, it's not worth the bother. There are important things to do. Dot, dot, dot. He's going. Dot, dot, dot. Stay determined. <laughs> oh, frick. Okay. Um, do I have a new companion? I do. Hello, Dandy. What do you do? A series of hammer attacks. Let's you craft from anywhere on the map without spending a turn. Uh, bring, bring him in. Because that alone is, like, the greatest thing of all time. That, that's so useful, it's insane. Um, so I depart, I will use my sword and shield again, because, again, uh, insanely, insanely good at the game when I have that sword and shield. Uh, what if I just crafted right here, dude? Like, he, he's got increased level, but I could, like, I, I could, 
how, how would I craft? I can craft right here. Okay. Um, so we already basically do explosion. So let, let's go acid instead. Wait a minute. Use on a settlement. But it doesn't spend a turn. Oh, I thought I could do it anywhere. This is just a case of I can't read again. You, you'd think that we would have learned by now that I cannot read. Um, but alas, here we are. Where are you at, my dude? There you are. Welcome to the party. Bring it on. Okay. We got big acid. We got a little acid splash. That's also going to be like... We're gonna splat- oh, dude, he's- this guy's just dead. I mean, he's just dead. I- I- it, it's so- it's so ridiculous how dead he actually is. Um, we're- we're aciding the entire damn planet. Um, we're gonna slip right in here, and we're going to snag ourselves, hopefully, that extra action. Yeah, he- he's just getting completely destroyed. Um, we could fortify- this is not a good fortify, if I'm being honest with you. So I think you actually do not use some of the, the fortify here. You just strike to do a little damage. Uh, and then now is where you would prefer to do a, a big fort of fi. Such as like a so. That's 22 block and then... I mean, he's just getting completely destroyed. Um, you are going to do a splash damage here. That gets destroyed. Wow, he skirted right around that four banger, which would have been like an insane hit. I am upset. Uh, we'll fortify again here. Just like this. Uh, somehow I survived that, which is insane to me. Uh, we splash. Big damage taken. Rampage reset. And uh, just the damage, dude. It's the freaking damage. Um... If block is spent, the so we, we will not lose all of that block. We will only lose seven. So just, just chill. We're going to fortifying charge immediately here. All the way over to... Actually, we'll go all the way down here because this is a better angle for us in the end. We actually got the extra action token too, which is disgusting. Um, this is going to be splash damage, which is going to kill off... Oh, it actually it didn't quite get it. Let, let's, uh, this will, on some planet, we actually took damage there. Um, I'm, I'm upset. I thought that we had a pretty decent chance to, to take care of business here. Okay. Then you're going to fortifying charge all the way to here, which is going to, to do a rampage reset. And then, to be fair, this guy is almost dead. <laughs> I mean, like... Like, he's, he is dead. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I should try to get some extra stuff first, though. Oh, no, never mind. Um, apparently, the, the medium range is so much that it hits that, too. It's, it's just an absurd weapon. I, I, I'm so disgusted by how strong that is. It is so good. Okay, so we, we, uh, old weapon, no, no bonus. I get it. I get it. But we also gained, like, a ton of stuff. Um, and we're probably gonna get a weapon because we did this, right? What? What's this? Skipper, this is Nettle Shearing Sword! Double exclamation point. Holding one of these weapons again brings all sorts of stories to mind. With this one, we like to pull a twin trade off one of our specialties. She'd use the sword to shear off the beast's massive scales all at once with a terrific smash. Then she'd hurl her blade to me mid-battle and I'd scar the beast to prevent it from regrowing. We might have been showing off. Still, it was a good technique, and it's good to see the sword again. Thank you. Now give me it. Okay, thank you. Um, normal strike. Pierce's cores. On Pierce, you have the core health and gain two player health. That's insane. It's a 40 cost, though, so that, that makes sense. Um, deal a damage, add, a, add seven scar. While scarred, the beast will not regrow scales. Interesting. That's really good. Um, and then shatter, deal one damage per scale, up to a max of... Okay, you shatter six, deal one damage per scale up to a max of X, starting from the impacted scale and spreading to adjacent scales. I have no idea what that means, so we would have to mess around with it a little bit, but you know I'm down. Hello, Granny. Moats preserve me, this young Lord Dandelion. I pre appreciate his enthusiasm, but you're all putting yourselves in real danger out there. 
I don't think he really understands that. Or frankly, much of anything. That's, that's extremely rude. Uh, good morrow. I have just taken a turn about your grounds of your rustic estate to snap a few pictures. I trust you don't mind. It is simply that your topiaries were arranged in such daringly naturalistic shapes. Dot, dot, dot. However, I was interrupted by one of your unconventional messenger pins. A pin? You recognize them? Certainly, though it is shockingly advanced more so than I've seen, it is clearly a pin. An acronym, of course, for a, a perfect, no, a practical, no, nobody ever bothers to say the full name. I myself have a relay pin synced to my lapel pin for processing and communicating vital information and also for taking selfies, very important. Regardless, this clearly means that whoever is making and sending these pins is a fellow noble. After all, between the Collegium and the Queen, technology is always advancing past the cutting edge. Though in my opinion, that was already quite evident from their natural inclination to help others, if you say so. How very nice. Nothing to craft. Beautiful, dude. Uh, next episode, let's figure out what Dandy's new weapon form is. Um, it's a hammer. We already kind of know that, but we don't know what the heck the hammer does, so I'm interested to find out. Um, good episode. I didn't suck today. <laughs> I didn't suck today. Lord Dandelion. Just Dandy, I insist. Lord Dandelion is my father and also my grandfather and my great-grandfather. Dandy, what are you doing with my laundry hamper? Um, Dandy. Dandy. Dandy, you dog. Ah, as my father always says, we should never shy away from assisting those in need. Besides, I am quite eager to experience this fine peasant art for myself. A noble doing laundry doesn't seem right. Don't you use gadgets for that? But of course, and I shall happily acquire some household pins for you if you'd like. Oh my, that's not... Speaking of pins, my good lady, come closer that we might take a selfie together with the basket. What, with our dirty laundry? What if someone like the Queen sees? This is a strange conversation. Hardly, why the Queen is far too reclusive for that sort of thing. One can't simply ring her up. That's a relief. No, this will merely be viewed by the lofted court and perhaps the upper echelons of the parliament. I'm taking the hamper. What a, what a strange guy. I mean, Granny's not exactly the, the sanest person either, but my lord, what a strange set of people. Hey, thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Beast Breaker. If you enjoyed a like on the video, is much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.